Hey guys, it's Judz here, and this is the Polaroid XS100 Extreme Edition. Great little camera. Uh, comes in this cool little box with the see-through um, see-through case at the top. This is what the camera comes in. Cool little box, and then you get this box with all the information on the sides. Um, not had much chance to read that yet, but I'm sure I will do later on. This is the box where all your stuff comes in. Now I've already opened everything up and had a play around with it but I thought I'd put it all back just for this video just uh, to give you a view of what it all looks like when you open it. Obviously some of the things won't be in the correct places as it came in but most of it is. This came today so like it's not been used or anything. Uh, this is the cool little box that it comes in all the little bits but uh, I'm going to show you the camera first. So it comes in here, it did have tape all around this box and stuff that I had to undo uh, but I thought to make this video without it would be much easier and faster so just pop that off the camera is screwed into the bottom which is great there we go pull that off to the side okay so this is the camera Polaroid um, it's a, a, bit, a little bit bigger than he expected but still a great size, perfect action camera size um, dome lens as you can see uh, replacement, you can get replacements for these in case they scratch uh, six little screws there, just unscrew them, take that off then replace it, you can get them online pretty cheap not sure how much, I'm guessing like under £10 um, as you can see these are the buttons only got two, but well a button and a switch um, that button is to turn it on, so you hold, press and hold the button uh, to turn it on for five seconds, and then this, or you can switch it on sh and go straight into record by switching that up, and that goes into record mode. So you've got stop record, and uh, it's got a vibrating function, which is great for an action camera. Um, so when you turn it on, it vibrates. When you record, it vibrates. When you press, take a picture, it vibrates. Um, when you turn it off, it vibrates, and all sorts like if the battery's dead whatever it'll vibrate and let you know just so you know if you're uh, in the middle of something like I don't know say you're using it for skiing um, you got it on your helmet it'll vibrate say you're in the middle of something and you're like oh no I've turned it off by accident and you can just sort things out um, it's got a little cap at the back this is how you get um, to all the little bits uh, it's got a lock function so you just lock it down screw it off and it comes off it's got a waterproof sealant there um, stop any water going in because it is waterproof um, it got, it's like waterproof for 30 meters I think if I'm right, not too sure on that but something like that it has got a micro SD up to 32 gigabyte um, slot there that doesn't come with it unfortunately this is my own that I put in before to test it out um, it's got a HDMI port for the to plug it into your TV which comes included you've got full HD and HD switch there uh, so that's to change the different uh, modes so you've got 180p there or 90 or 960p or you've got in HD uh, 720p 60 frames per second or 30 frames per, per second which you can change on your computer when you plug it in with the um, with the software that's provided You've got a reset button as well, which resets it to how it came in the box. So that's pretty uh, good, say if um, something gets corrupt or anything. Probably won't, but you've got to have these measures. Um, you've got the screw in the bottom to put the different mounts. You've got the lanyard uh, thing, so you can have a safety net. Say if it falls off the mount, um, it'll, it won't hit the ground. It'll be safe dangling off your helmet. And yeah, cool little camera. Doesn't weigh much, pretty light. Um, it's good. Uh, I compare it strongly to the Drift HD. This is a hundred, hundred and twenty pounds on Action ActionCamera.co.uk, um, or with a with a discount code which I used, um, Baron Von Grumbles. Uh, you can get, uh, I think it's twelve pound off this, so it becomes seven pound, uh, hundred and seven pound, which is great. Hundred pound camera. Um, does it does the job nicely? Uh, it records audio and video and takes pictures in high quality. Two hour um, battery life. 
and then I'm going to put all the specs on the screen now for you to look at. You've got a 5 megapixel uh, sensor, presumer grade low light, six, up to 16 megapixel uh, camera, a uh, single shot, ten, 10 photos in a second time lapse, um, resolution for the video 1080p 30 frames, 60p 30 fr uh, 960p 30 frames, uh, 720p 60 frames and 30 uh, frames per second for that as well. Um, storage, as I said, micro SD, 32 gig. Battery, 1,200 mega um, mAh. Not sure what that means, but sure a lot of you know. Um, I think it's up to two hour battery life, two and a half hour. Um, it's got no Wi-Fi. G sensor, yes. Dual file recording, yes. It vibrates, as I said. Um, no laser light. Rotating lens. Um, waterproof, up to 30 meters. I think that's where I got it from. I'm not sure. And that doesn't mean you need a case, so as it comes, um, it's waterproof, which is great for the weather. As I'm a motor vlogger, I don't, it's waterproof, so, and it rains quite a bit, and I do go out in the rain, so yeah. Um, HDMI comes with the cable, weight 4.8 ounces, and then that's all what's included in the box, which I'm going to show you right now. So, here's the box. Um, inside, let's have a look. You've got a Polaroid action sticker and a Team Polaroid great little stickers don't know what I'm going to do with them yet but I'm sure I'll find some use for it um, you've got the Polaroid warranty uh, let's just have a quick look one year in North America one year in Central and South America one year in Asia, Africa, Australia and New Zealand two years in Europe and two years in um, Russia and that's parts warranty and labour warranty so I think that's pretty much if you get anything faulty they'll sort it out for you. Um, this is the manual in pretty much every language you can think of. Uh, obviously I only need the English which is the first couple of pages. Uh, very useful. Yeah, This is what you get in the box. Obviously it's been rearranged a bit and all the various parts came in little bags and stuff but took them all out just for the ease of the video. Uh, this is the little case to put the Polaroid in, like that. And then it's got a belt, belt hook to put on your belt, which is really useful. Um, this is a mini USB lead to plug into the computer to change the settings and transfer the files, etc. Um, these are the mounts, uh, the various mount adapters. This is the 90 degree one, which is what I'm going to be using. Um, this is the helmet mount. Uh, you can use this for a bicycle helmet, any type of helmet really. Uh, you've got little straps in here as well. These are the straps. Um, one's shorter, one's longer uh, for strapping around the helmet. But obviously you get, you also get uh, little adhesive uh, stickers like that. And you basically just stick that on there, stick that on the helmet. Um, very strong. Uh, you unscrew this. Then you put this adapter in like that and then obviously the camera will sit on there with the little adapter that goes for the camera and the, the mount adapter which is in here somewhere yeah here it is here's the camera adapter that what that obviously there screws on and that's the like safety thing um that screws on with the little screw there um and then once the camera's on plug that in there and then the camera's ready to go really and you can change the angle and then once you've got the right angle, just tighten it up there and it just it makes it a lot sturdier I think you can tighten that one more obviously I don't want to mess about with that now have a look later um, comes with another mount, this is the handlebar mount really good for uh, cyclists probably be able to fit it onto the handlebars of my bike um, HDMI cable really good, plug it into your TV, plug that into the camera you can watch your videos on TV and I think you can change some settings on the TV as well but I think most of the settings or all of them are on the um, when you plug it into the computer as well it's another another pad um, I think this is for when you strap it to a bicycle helmet or whatever or a skiing helmet uh, just stop uh, so there's not a gap in between like there so you don't want it to stick to the helmet but you don't want it so there's a gap so it's a bit sturdier and safer if you know what I mean um, that's the normal camera so say if I was to use the camera on my on my, the top of my helmet I'd use that instead so like so 
uh, instead of at the side and obviously if I'm using it on the side I don't want to use that because then the camera will be on its side and uh, this is the safety lanyard quick release like so and this is just to protect the camera if it comes from, comes away from the mount it's just safer save the camera like after it's wobbling a bit comes unscrewed and falls off if you didn't have that on it it'd fall and hit the ground and probably damage um, whereas it would just dangle on the side of your helmet and you could get it safely what we've got left in here now are more of the de um, adhesive sticky things for the mounts we've got um, I think this is an extra thing for the helmet mounts like them holes join up there so I'm guessing that that just uh, makes it secure or whatever uh, or makes it adjustable but as I say I probably won't be using any of that um, this is a key to tighten up the the plug and stuff see there that's to tighten up like just to make sure it's safe oh yeah clip I think that goes with the safety lanyard so you can clip it to your helmet instead of the mount just in case because with me I'm just using this the adhesive sticky stuff on my helmet so I'm a bit I might be a bit worried that the sticky stuff could like fall off in the middle of riding out so I'd, I'd clip that to my um, strap on my helmet and that onto the camera so if the mount fails um, it's not attached to the mount as well um, it's attached to my helmet so it saves the ma the mount and the uh, Polaroid. Oh yeah, I want to show you some of the footage on the camera. Um, so, to turn it on, five seconds on there. Hang on. Oh, there we go. It's on. Um, vibrates, as I said. Uh, and then to record, you simply clip it forward. Um, it vibrates and then it's on red. So it's now recording. Um, I'll switch to this uh, this video now, so you can see what it's like and then I'll just like give you some footage I don't know just around the room there's some guitars there's my helmet and some the box that it came in, came in. there's a plane uh, yeah so this is my that's pretty much my room this is my desk there's my little light what I'm using um, there's all the specs I've probably, I've probably showed you that picture and uh, yeah just random bits my boots, whatever. Uh, this is the audio as well for the camera, so obviously you can um, you can hear that as well, and just decide whether you like it or not. Um, to be honest, I give I give this camera quite a good rating so far. I've only had it a day. Um, everything's perfect on it. It feels dead um, high quality. Um, I'm gonna turn that off now, but it's good quality. Feels feels really strong and well built um, good warranty good all the bits are high quality so yeah good camera overall um, and I think that's the end of the video really so if you liked it and you want to see my moto vlogs which are going to be coming soon um, please subscribe and like it if you like the video comment any feedback as this is like my first video ever on YouTube so a bit, um, it's a bit hard like just getting used to it um, sure, the quality will improve, and as you'll see from the um, as you'll see from the editing, um, whether I'm any uh, decent at editing it or not. I've done quite a bit of editing before, edited music videos and stuff in college. So we'll see about that. Hopefully, I can make this video a little bit more interesting. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, hope this has given you a good idea. I've been Judds, and.